In this video, different waveform light patterns are displayed on the WS2812B LED strips module using the beatsign8 function. In my previous video, the beatsign8 function, which is part of the Fast LED library, was explained and demonstrated. In this video, mathematical operations will be applied to the function to generate different light waveform patterns. In this first example, we're generating a sine wave with 60 beats per minute, which is equivalent to 1 Hz, covering 20 LED strips, and there's zero time shift and zero phase shift in the output waveform. The generated sine wave is then used to vary the index of the array LED, and the output color here is red. Function blur one-dimensional takes the average of the ith LED with its adjacent LEDs. This gives a smooth motion effect. The function has three arguments. The first argument is the name of the array. The second argument is the number of LEDs used. And the third argument gives the degree of smoothing or low pass filtering. And the value ranges between 1 and 255. 255 would be uh, the maximum low pass filtering effect. Function fade to black by gives a fading effect to all of the LEDs. Again it has three arguments. The first argument is the array name and the second is the number of LEDs and the third is a integer value between 1 and 255. 1 gives the minimum uh, fading speed and 255 gives the maximum fading speed. Combining these two functions can give us a cool smooth uh, motion of the sine wave along the LED strips. In this next example we're generating two sine waveforms at 40 beats per minute. The second waveform is 180 degrees out of phase with respect to the first one. This offset value will give us this phase shift. The first waveform color is red and the second waveform color is blue. In this next example, again, we have two sine waveforms, but the second waveform is double the frequency of the first, and uh, the waveforms are in phase. Now, for the index, we are adding the two sine waveforms, and we divide by two to keep the index value within the range. In this example, we have two waveforms. The frequency of the second is significantly greater than the first, and for the index, we are multiplying the two waveforms. We divide by 30 to keep the index within the range, and the result is a, an amplitude modulated waveform. The Fast LED library has more mathematical functions that can be used to generate different light patterns, which will be covered in future videos. Thank you for watching.